It's the coming extrapolus. This water pipe thingy is still running, it's sprayed, and now this whole area is a giant swamp. So we're here at this massive abandoned paper mill that is like in the process of getting demolished. The main attraction's over there. I just stumbled across this structure here. So we've got to go up these like dodgy ass stairs to get to the top. Okay, so we need the top. Keep going, noobs. All right, so we're at the top. Bit of a situation. Super cool old machinery here. Whoa, so we're inside. It's super cool in here. It's got these stairs. Oh, you guys gotta come up here and see. Oh, super cool, super massive, like, control thingy. There's a giant hole in the roof. There's a submerged level. There's all the machinery and stuff that's underwater. This staircase goes to the underneath the water level. The water is black and it is stagnant. Look how close I am to the water. Let's give you a shot. Oh my god. Coming up. Some sort of river water pump thing. Because we're right next to the Yarra River. So this would have been a giant pump house. If someone's attempted graffiti. Now just a little bit of bobber. There's like some gross stuff. Some bread just floating in the water. Imagine going for a swim. So there's the water. One level, two level, three level, four level, five level, six level, seventh level. Okay, so we turned all the lights off and it is so dark in here. That is what we can see. We can just see, but you guys can not see anything. Okay, so we're going back up and we're going to look around and stuff. There's like a massive crane that would have come across these rails and then the cargo could have been lowered all the way down to the bottom would have came through that door. There's a kookaburra over there, and there's an abandonment over here, yeah. All right, so it's time to move on to the main attraction. There's another massive pit, so we need to go back down the staircase. It's extreme. <laughs> so what's the action plan, guys? That's where we just were, in the big pumping station. The whole thing is a massive expanse, so you can see anyone approaching it. We have to climb over all this rubble. Alright, there's doors, that's where we're gonna go. Alright, 
bricks we made our way into here. It looks like it would have been some sort of like dumping area or something. There's random bricks and stuff that have just come and been dumped. And throughout time, the sand and dust have become like a solid object. Oh, guys, it's the massive furnaces. It's the huge furnaces. And have been completely filled with bricks. Look, there's like the coal ash and stuff. There's the rails here where they probably push things of coal. Oh god, do you know what this is? This is an asbestos steel. So they put these here to contain it, but someone's ripped it down. So there's definitely asbestos. All this concrete's really damaged. It's like being in a giant cave. Let's just turn that off. Yeah, it looks like a mine. That's so sick. We'll be room here it's like a bomb shelter practically check out all these bricks they've got like this weird moldy stuff on them check out how rusty this furnace is it just flakes off it's so mental the rust is so crazy it's like it's so corroded so rusty that whole row of furnaces let's go check out this next row whoa it's pretty awesome Big shoot thing. Well, the railway track. The railway track. <laughs> yeah. Heaps of railway tracks. Turn bridge thing there. This is probably where the coal would have been dropped, put into the little cars, brought here, span around, then gone and get, got fed into the furnaces. Floyd, what gauge is this track? Don't even have a tape measure. To operate, carry to the fire. Pull pin out, squeeze valve, direct discharge at something it's very rusty and it's retro all right so we're coming up from the big furnace rooms i don't know where this goes it goes to a floor they put a floor on top of it due to the rustiness of this i feel like maybe they sealed off this room like before it was closed like they didn't need it so they just sealed it off because you can see those wires have been cut and they've been cut for a very long time because they've rusted away super duper corroded switch this place down here has been closed off for a while so we found some other stairs Whoa. Whoa. Look how big this place is. Yes. Oh no, look at this. Oh no. Wait, is that caution asbestos for that side or the one we were just in? Either or we're screwed. Floor down because that's just way more fun. So fatal. Floyd, give us a wave. Oh no, I'm cheating. I just want to see what's in here, then we can continue. Oh. All right, what? This place is old. Look at that woodwork. So rusty. We're at the top and there's a huge like train thingy. Let's have a look at that thing. And underneath us, there is like a massive, massive hopper underneath. It's like right mill scale, it's huge. Remember I said there was a big hopper thing at the bottom. Look, there's the doors. I don't know if you can see those. There's the little light things there, the doors. Super sick. A little way down here. Super steep ladder of death that goes to no walkway. There is a huge spider web. That wall has been labelled as A for asbestos and all the asbestos walls go that way and that way. So this place is full of asbestos. There's some broken asbestos there. The roof here is all made of asbestos sheeting stuff. Out here you can get a good shot of the roof. Huge Jimmy thing. Huge like convey belt thingy. The floor is literally just made up of rusty metal fragments. So we're going to the other side of this massive convey belt thingy. There probably would have been another one of those big train things here. I'll just give you guys a zoom. There's like the whole demolition construction site thingy out there. We don't want to go any further. It might be seen. It's a window that's been broken here. You can actually see out this little roof area. This this place is so rusty. That whole thing is just decayed away falling down here into these big chunks. That just shows you how rusty this place is. Old machinery 
anything. It's actually made in Philadelphia. That's so super cool. One pipe. Yay! So we came and a uh, massive room full of like electronic stuff. Lots of switchboards, some sort of like diagram of electronics. Electronics room. Now that's cool. That's really cool. It's covered in all this like oil jelly stuff. Pleasant, we meet again. Whoa! Super cool electronics room. So you come out of the depths of doom into this huge, massive. Room full of heaps of gizmos. Absolutely huge. It's down, it's down into there. Another massive room full of electronics. Huge switchboard room. A thingy blocking the way, so whatever, you can pretty much see it. Oh my god, hear voices. It's your first thing. Ooh! Does security come and catch the faggoty folks? You'll have to watch part two of the Ankor Explore to find out. Thanks for watching the video and believe in yourself. Yeah.